Hello friends, today we are going to learn bus system of 8085 microprocessor means various buses of 8085 microprocessor. So let's try to understand bus system. So our bus system is made up of following blocks. First block will be our microprocessor. Now this microprocessor is connected with memory which is externally block and with input devices as well as output devices. So these are the three additional blocks that we are going to interface with our microprocessor. Now how microprocessor will handle these three blocks? For that or microprocessor will take the help of three buses. First bus is address bus. So this address bus is unidirectional bus means only microprocessor can send addresses and the uh, since addresses are of four digits uh, let's say on address 7050H data is 22H data is 22h so 7050 is a 16 bit information 7 can be written as 0 1 1 1 0 can be written as 0 0 0 0 5 can be written as 0 1 0 1 and this last 0 can be written as 0 0 0 0 so we can see that addresses are of 16 bits and to send those 16 bits we will require 16 separate wires or lines that's why we will say that address bus start from let's say a0 then it will end on a15 so total 16 lines are required and this bus we will call it as address bus and address bus is connected with memory input devices and output devices so microprocessor will always send those addresses then let's try to understand job of data bus now data microprocessor not only send the data to memory but also it has the capacity to receive that data that's why we will say that our data bus is bi-directional why bi-directional bus because we microprocessor can not only send the data but also it can receive data that's why we will say that our data bus is bi-directional bus then Again, let's take example of data. So let's say on 7050H address, data is 23H. Now this 23 can be written as 0010 and 3 can be written as 0011. Now here we can see that data is of 8 bits. That's why we will require total 8 bits or 8 bars to send this data or to receive data. That's why we will say that data was let's start with D0 and it, it will end on D7. Now from memory, we will not only transfer the data inside the microprocessor, but also microprocessor can send data inside the memory. That's why this arrow is bi-directional arrow, means data flow will happen in both direction. Now what about input devices? From input devices, microprocessor can only take data. Okay, that's why this arrow will be unidirectional arrow. From input devices, data can be passed inside the microprocessor through data bus. And output devices, for output devices, microprocessor will send the data. That's why this is unidirectional, but arrow is towards the output. So, what does that mean? This means simply microprocessor sends this data inside the output devices now microprocessor will control all these devices by sending some control signals and those control signals are sent through control bus so last but is control bus now these control signals are necessary for proper operation of this entire system so what kind of the control signals are there some control signals are memory read as well as memory write and for IO devices control signals are IO read and IO write. 
and all these control signals are necessary for overall functioning of this entire system. That's why through this control bus, various control lines are used and we will send control signals through these control lines. And finally, we can take from external world the data inside the input devices and from output devices we can send data to the external world. That's why these two additional arrows are there. From external world we can take data inside the input device and from output device we can send this data to the external world. That's why these two additional arrows are drawn over here and this entire system will be called as bus system of 8085 microprocessor where three buses are there. First is address bus which is unidirectional bus which is having 16 lines or 16 wires. Second is data bus which is bidirectional bus which is having 8 lines and final bus is control bus which is also a unidirectional bus. Now why control bus is unidirectional because microprocessor sends those control signals. Only microprocessor can send the control signals. That's why all control lines are unidirectional. Therefore, control bus is unidirectional bus. So, these are the three types. Address bus, data bus and control bus. Thank you.